What's up, guys? It's Painful Man 79, and um, I just got back from shooting my uh, my brand new Bob Long Vice, and I felt like I could continue. I can actually do a review on something now. It's been you know two weeks that I haven't made a video, so hopefully this this is the part where I get to you know constantly start making videos again. Um, I want to start off that um, I just shot my gun through here. I'll show you through the snow outside it's snowing outside Maryland and uh, I didn't break one ball and I used really really brittle paint that I uh, had extra from skirmish um, I played with this gun two weeks ago uh, two week at, two weeks ago at uh, Robin Hood the field I work at and then Thanksgiving I played uh, played up in skirmish with a whole bunch of guys and I play with it. I haven't changed the battery yet, but I've been still shooting it. I've been playing with it. I made, you know, the dwell and whatever. I've been just shooting it. And it's like probably the sexiest gun I've ever shot. In my opinion, it's better than Ego, but you know, it's people's opinion. It's opinionated. I just like Bob Long. So let's start off with what the box is. Here's a box, Bob Long, and you know. Uh, open it up. Um, here. Open it up. Here's a uh, you know the styrofoam comes with you know. Uh, 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 styrofoam. Barrels a bitch. Put that back in there. Here's the gun, just in its case. Take the gun out. Styrofoam. Uh, I got a metric and a regular size Allen keys. Uh, the barrel goes right through down here. Uh, it comes. It doesn't come with the LPR tester, but I got that anyway. And uh, but it does come with this set of O-rings, so it's pretty nice. Uh, it's not as good as when you go with the packaging, but when you're buying a Bob Long gun, you really buy it only for the, the gun itself. Uh, here's the manual. It's very basic. This whole box is cardboard, if you can tell. Um, you know, I'd, I'd rather have a hard case like an Ego, but can't really do anything about it now. Um, now the gun itself. I probably love this gun. It's my baby. Okay. Let's just start from the front. Um, the barrel. It's a 14 inch um, barrel, goes one, th one third porting throughout the barrel. Um, it's decent. I'm getting the Lucky Unitech for Christmas. My uh, teammate Ryan uh, told me about him. I shot the whole game when I was at Robin Hood. I shot it the whole day. It's probably the most accurate barrel I've ever shot. Um, the vise, just the vise. The um, specs on the vise is. Uh, it's a Generation 5 Intimidator, um, Barrel Threads Auto Cocker, if I didn't mention that. Um, uh, you can only use compressed air, duh. Who uses CO2 on a vice? I mean, if you're retarded and you want to break your gun, yeah, sure, you can use CO2 on a vice. Um, LPR pressure should be around 65-75 PSI, keep mine down at 60. I know, or 65. Um, you can shoot a through whole case through this with a full 45 um, tank. Uh, I just got done shooting, you know, a bag. Um, I didn't chop one ball just because of this bolt right here, the pillow bolt. Let me get see if you can see it. You see that little thing in her? In her? Um, hold on. What else? Oh, shit. <laughs> Whatever, I'll fix it later. My pillow just went back in. Um, because I was shooting my, uh, gun really weird. And, uh, I mean, it's a basic gun if, you know, if you're starting to get into tournaments. I mean, this is probably the best gun for you. 
I mean, I love this gun with passion. It's probably the most air efficient gun I've ever shot. Ever. Um, it comes with the uh, SOC 2CIs. Um, they're good, but I get it 4C's eyes um, just because, you know, it's faster when you're shooting. The weight without the barrel or with the barrel is basically the same. 1 pound 13.2 ounces. It's really light. Um, trigger returns a assist, uh, uh, spring assist. Uh, it's got a micro switch and you can uh, shoot around 30 balls a second. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, grips. It's one of the things I don't like about this gun. I, I just don't like the grips as much, but if you want to get, um, I'm getting the Yakuza OLED soon, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. The other thing I don't like about this gun is the button all the way in the back. It's kind of hard to push in and turn it on. And uh, when you want to put the eyes off, you have to really push your finger in there. Um, Pill bolt's good. Um, a really, really good thing about this gun is, um, let's just say you don't have any Allen keys, and uh, you had to put your loader on to put it, you know, fit. You know how the Ego has a sea lever clamp that has to um, has those two um, Allen screws. I call them Allen screws because you know Allen screws, um, and you have to tighten them that way. Well, a good thing about this gun, let's just say you have a halo and it has a wide, um, a really wide, uh, feed neck. Here's the, the, you can twist it to tighten it. And then when you're done tightening, you just go forward and push it forward. It's really, uh, really good about this gun. Um, I like the pill bolt. Pill bolt's amazing. Don't get me wrong. I love the pill bolt. I don't like the cure. Cure is not my favorite bolt in the world because it's still plastic. It doesn't have a pillow. Like, uh, you know, this rubber pillow in here. Um, the It's really, really like gun. Just to put that out there. Um, the next thing I like to tell, about, tell you guys about is the S-Class trigger. It's so, 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 so slow. So light. You can just uh, rip on this for trigger. It's just so... So nice. Um, uh, one more thing I don't like about this gun is the ASA. Sometimes when you're playing in hands get stick, you know, like um, sweaty. You're. Uh, it's kind of hard to take your tank off. I don't have any air in this tank, but like just screw this in, and then when you take it out, it's a bitch to take out if you still have air in it. But um, I'm trying to get my hands on uh, Bob Long's. Uh, the switch on the bottom, where you can just switch it and then take the tank off really easy. I could do that. Or I can get, you know, the CP ones that are like that thick. I don't like CP ones, they're too thick, in my opinion. Um, the gun in total is really nice gun. I mean, it's probably, probably one of the best guns I've ever shot, like I said. Um, for 750 dollars they kick the eagle's ass and I think Bob Long did a great job of kicking the eagle's ass um I mean customer service is great they like I think I just got an email from one of their um, people from Bob Long and uh I asked if they have any um any more uh detent springs because the detent um uses springs and I think that's a lot better than you know the you know, the metal, but whatever. I like it, but you got to keep track of what you're, you know, losing. Like, I just lost one spring, and I want to have two detents. One one just pops out, one slides back in. Um, overall, I give this 10, I mean, um, uh, this uh, gun, 9.5 out of 10. Um, probably great gun um if you ever want to ask me any questions just you know pm me uh just subscribe do whatever you want comment all right guys i'll see you later this is pimple man 39